friends uh, in this video we will discuss about the price list in tally prime so the price list uh, is a business process by which we can maintain the uh, uh, rate of the product for our different type of customers so in this example i have uh, i have uh, maintained this this uh, stock item so the production cost of this stock item is rupees 1 so i am selling this product for uh, a different type of customers so they are the dealers wholesalers and uh, retailers so for dealers i am uh, supplying my goods for rupees 2 and for uh, wholesalers rupees 3 and for uh, retailers i am supplying for rupees 4 so my dealers will purchase my product uh, in the uh, in the quantity range of 50000 to 1 lakh quantity and the wholesalers will purchase the, uh, the product in the range of 10000 to 25000 and the uh, retailers will purchase in the range of 500 to 5000 quantity so i have maintained the different rates for uh, these three type of customers and uh, now i am going to execute these uh, in the tally prime so uh, let, let us enter to the uh, tally so before going to this step i just uh, create the stock item so i just uh, maintain the opening balance so that i can uh, make a sales to my customers so the inventory value is rupees 1 i just go with the rate of 1 so that the value of the uh, quantity is value of the uh, product is 5 lakh so i just save this i have created the uh, stock item and now i can move on to the uh, price level okay you can see here the price level so i just uh, enter to it so these different type of customers i can maintain in the price level okay just uh, maintain the uh, customers just save it the second step is the price list so i'm going to maintain these in the price list just show you enter to the price list in the stock group level i just maintain it so we first maintain it for dealers i have selected the dealer so the the stock item pen for for dealers we are maintaining for the stock for the stock item so we know that uh, the dealers uh, can buy the, buy in the range of 50000 to 1 lakh quantity so i just uh, expand these quantities uh, the the price level i just go for uh, 50000 that is for for, for dealers uh, if they purchase the pen uh, in the in the range of 0 to 5000 i can make the rate as 73.75 and uh, in the range of 50000 to 75000 i can uh, make the rate as 2.325 and uh, more than 75000 i can give for 3 rupees so in this way i can uh, maintain so so i have expanded these uh, these quantities in this manner so similarly i will uh, maintain for wholesalers and uh, retailers so i just show you for uh, wholesalers so we now go for uh, wholesalers so they can uh, purchase in the range of uh, 10000 to 25000 so i just maintain here we no need to give any discount here you can also maintain but i am not giving any discount here so in the range of 10000 to 20000 i just i can give it for 2.25 rupees 
and uh, more than 20,000 I can give it for uh, 2 rupees so you can see here uh, the condition satisfied uh, satisfied for uh, wholesalers and uh, similarly I can uh, Now we can maintain for uh, retailers they can uh, purchase in the range of 500 to uh, 500 to 5000 so i can maintain in such a manner that is okay i can make it as 4.5 and in the range of uh, this quantity, I can give it for 4.25 and more than uh, 25,000, sorry, 2,500 numbers, we can give it for uh, 4 rupees. So, in this way, I can have maintained. So, I have maintained the uh, price level. So, I just go back. And now we need to maintain the uh, ledgers so i will create uh, three different customers i just go on with the dealer under sundry depth so you can see that the price level is applicable i just uh, make make it as a dealer release the wholesaler and the retailer okay let me let me uh, go to the uh, voucher I just maintain the sales. Okay, just go for a dealer. I think uh, we have not created the uh, sales account. I just create it. Okay, just go for the uh, pen so we know that a uh, dealer uh, can buy up in the range of 50,000 to 1 lakh okay, I just go for uh, 75,000 so the rate will be uh, determined from the uh, uh, configuration that is 3 rupees so more than 75,000 quantities we can uh, make the rate of sound 3 rupees but uh, if it is 65,000 the rate will be 2.75 sorry uh, 3.25 and uh, if it is 50,000 let me let me check if it is let me go for uh, 49,000 so in this way we can uh, maintain the price uh, price level so the rate will be determined automatically once uh, once we enter the quantity the rate will be automatically determined so that is the uh, usage of uh, price list so i hope this video will be a more informative one so thank you guys for watching this video we will continue in the next video thank you